<laughs> bro, you're actually so good. What's going on? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. How's it going? Uh, yeah, good. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm a What's going on, bro? Yeah, no, things are good. Things are good. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like... If the podcast finished right now, I'd be happy with that. Did, yeah, mate, you did so well with that as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're really impressed. You. I can't wait. Oh, was... I, can't, I can't wait to see that. No, it was what we've known each other what a minute and a half, yeah. and literally, I think there was there was instant chemi awkward chemistry. There. <laughs> yeah, there was, it was. That was good. So you're the awkward guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did that start? Um, how did it start? Um, oh, there's a long, there's a long, long story. I won't give the long, long story. Why not? Do, tell well, me what you want, man. Uh, so, all okay, all right. So uh, my mummy and daddy had some happy time together. Um, and then what happened is I was born. Um, but fast <laughs> forward, um, I, uh, I used to be like a, a, an actor and stuff in school. I used to do like a, the shows and stuff like that. You know the types that yeah, yeah. doing in school. Um, and then I enjoyed doing shows and acting and stuff like that. And then uh, I kind of, before you know it, you leave school and um, you've got to get a job, you've got to fit in yeah. the society, you've got to pay the bills. Fast forward things, I got a job, I got married, I had three kids um, and I did everything that society told you to do. Um, and then it got to a point where I kind of completed all of that, which is what I wanted to do. And then I was just unhappy, mm -hmm. unhappy and a bit like, uh, is this it? Is this, have I just got to work nine to five now and just scratch and claw to try and get um that little pay rise every year and little stuff like that um and i went down this whole self-development journey of i didn't know what a mindset was and stuff like that but this, this is around about 26 27 didn't know what a mindset was or anything like that or the different type of thing how old are you now 34 okay cool. 34 okay, yeah okay, yeah okay. so i'm yeah I'm a little bit further down the path now yeah um and <laughs> then so um yeah, I went in this mindset, I'm listening to self-help books, probably read about 30 or 40 of them and kind of figured out who I was as a person and why I was unhappy. And the reason why I was unhappy is I had this, I've got this kind of creative bone that I need to scratch. No, sc creative itch that I need to scratch. I don't want to scratch any bones. Um, creative itch I need to scratch. And I started to do things that are more creative. Um, I've been a DJ, I've been a, a wrestler, I've been a... Um, Yes, and it ended up being doing social media, doing videos, you know, silly Snapchat filters. And it kind of uh, evolved into I, my decision was that I was going to take two years and just try to create, just create and just come up with some videos, just have some fun um, and just see where I get to be um, consistent and just turn up every day for two years and see what happens. Um, doing that, I kind of jumped on TikTok. TikTok came around during lockdown. I jumped on it like June 2019 or something like that. Yeah. Posted every single day since, um, kind of figured out who I was and what I could offer um, being a creator. And uh, now I'm kind of sat here. And uh, somehow along the way, I've uh, become the, the awkward point of view guy, um, which I'm kind of known for now. You know what's crazy, yeah? Yeah. I, th I think a lot of people will turn around and go, what the fuck do you do, mate? Do you get a lot of that? What do you mean? Like, how has he got so big? Oh, from yeah, like, I've, got, I've got that question myself. Like, <laughs> by like, a lot of people would say doing nothing, but there's yeah, so yeah. much, there's actually so much detail. There, yeah, yeah, there is. In, yeah, what, yeah. in what you're doing, there's so much actual emotion in a weird way. You're saying a lot without saying Yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, you, you do look at it and think, <laughs> there's not much going on there i'm literally just pulling a few faces that anyone like and they can anyone can do um i think uh the way i try to differentiate myself i'm so particular about the detail of everything like so particular about the background the lighting i'm very much like the continuity i'm almost like a my own little production company like a director yeah. um the lighting the background everything i've got to wear i've got to have the same props that are in the video that i'm kind of jumping into 
Um, and just in, in case nobody knows who I am, and that's rightfully so, there's no, you shouldn't know who I am really. Um, but essentially, viral videos that go out there, what I'll do is I will insert myself as if I was a character within the scene, as if I was there in the viral video, um, and how any other normal person would react if they were seeing what they were seeing in this viral video. Um, and yeah, it's just, I found this little niche that I've crazy. found myself you, in. You got. How many million people that follow you? Yeah, on, on TikTok, it's yeah, six, six million on TikTok. And also Insta, Insta, um, <clears throat> I think it's seven hundred thousand on Mad. Insta now. But I mean, I mean that's fresh. Like seven hundred, like I mean, I, I've been scratched. I haven't had anything on Insta for for God knows how long. And then this year, I think um, February onwards, it's just kind of popped off. Popped off, yeah. Like I mean, my TikTok's gone to really gone to crap now. Yeah. What yeah. about um? What about like YouTube and all that stuff? Are you on? Oh, you grind on YouTube, but um, I haven't hit that. You know, I haven't hit that. Yeah, that peak yet. Do you find that other people are using your videos? Uh, no, I mean, so a lot of people try to do the videos, or they'll reenact it, or they'll try and do something, which I've no problem with at all, because that's how everyone really starts out. Exactly. Yeah. As a creator, they kind of they kind of copy or get inspired by other people, and then they kind of eventually, if you do it long enough, you find your own feet, what you enjoy. Yeah, what's sustainable, and then uh, you go off on your own little path. So, but people do. But the main thing for me is uh, I, I'm very consistent. Like I'll turn up every single day, and I think that's what sets uh, sets. It sounds like I'm bigging up myself or anything else like that. But, no, but it's what sets me apart. Is that I'll I'll turn up every single day. People might copy me for like four days, and then yeah. they'll fall off because they're not really they're expecting to to get right. the views and stuff that I yeah. have and stuff. You're not bigging yourself up. I, I think. Um, I think a lot of people hold back on bigging their self up. I'm oh, massively like, like that as well. I'm huge like that. Do you know what I mean? Do you hold yeah, just, yeah. do you hold back a I, lot? I, I'm very self aware. Like I don't hold like I, I know <clears> now. <throat> I sit here with the, the the followers and I'm like, I it's not that I don't. I feel like I deserve it, but I'm like, well, I know how I've got them. I've turned up every single day for two years. If you do two years of anything, if you go to the gym every day for two years, you're going to be ripped to shit, or you know, you're going to be in a good good shape. Yeah. So it's common sense that if I turn up every day, I'm going to learn along the way. Anyone could do it. Yeah. Um, so, but it does. It's very surreal to, to even like you know sitting down and having opportunities like this. Is this is life? This is this is what it's living's cool. about. Definitely. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Yeah. And are you getting a lot of people like? Do you a lot of people recognize you out and about? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like how often? Every time I leave the house, it's um, really? I, I don't go out much. So. I work from home. I've got a nine to five. I'm very like. Have I've, you? Yeah, yeah. I've got nine to five. I've got three kids, a wife. I do school runs. It's a very normal person. Um, and then when I go out, I don't go out often. I often uh, get recognised. But then, like today, um, I go out. I was working in the city today, and I was in Liverpool Street. No one said anything. It's it's nice. It's nice to. Yeah. Uh, it's not like I'm swamped or anything, but then it, then you think, oh, this is it. I'm not, you know, settled down. This is all very normal. All right, big time. Go, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. big time. Humbled. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, on the tube here, um, I got recognised twice, which is it's nice. It's lovely. Um, it's cool. But it's it still, is cool. There's no getting used to it. It's very surreal. Right. And yeah. Is yeah, it social media like crazy? Like. Yeah. I mean, we're very normal people. Oh, here we oh, go. I'm we professional. Go. Oh, uh, what should I do? I'm just gonna put it over here. <laughs> Man, I could do this all the time. But this is great. It's good fun. Isn't it? it's, it's good, good fun. fun. The best thing is you can just be uncomfortable and just be comfortable being uncomfortable. How good is that? Oh my god! You know what's mad? Like, okay, don't you think people, hmm. adults, forget to have fun because they feel like they need to grow up, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't think. I think that should be just like completely removed. As in, I don't want to grow up. I'm not going to grow up. Yeah, in the yeah, sense yeah. of, I'm not going to be a dickhead. No, You're no, You're mature, no. but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like growing up and doing the things like maybe the trap that you fell into that you, yeah, where you yeah, weren't definitely. happy. Yeah, yeah. You felt like you had to do specific things in life. Yeah, yeah. That's so common, so common. And that led you to be, you said, quite unhappy for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I say unhappy, it's it's just you know being snappy with the kids, 
uh, you know, you just, so many people do it as well. And it, you, you, you finish work, you go home, you binge on Netflix for four or five hours, you go to bed, you wake up, do the same thing. And then you, yeah, to me, I was, I was just unhappy and just snappy and just taking out on things. And I wasn't, it's the same uh, as mums as well. They kind of lose their identity once they have their kids. They're just mum. Mm. So it's all about embracing yourself. Like everyone's got their own little something, something about them that they like, that they may think is geeky and they don't often want to share it <clears> with <throat> people and stuff like that. Those are the type of things. That, that's how you know you're living. Those are the things that you have to go after the most. Yeah, You need to, you need to exercise that as much as possible. Mine is just doing... Uh, being creative, doing character work and stuff like that. But other people could like collect cat hair and make, <laughs> make dolls out of cat hair, like collecting stamps and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's important to, yeah, to go after those things. I think, I think. would you say everyone has a creative, would you say everyone has a, is creative in a way or would you say no? Uh, no, I think, um, no, I th it's, it's difficult. Yeah, a creator, um, a creator, yeah, yeah, it's difficult to say. I've I've gone blank with that answer. I've got nothing to, to offer be, there at all. You don't all. have to be nice about it. Either. No, I've got nothing. You can nothing. just say, no, some people just shit. Some people, yes. <laughs> well, some people don't want to put themselves in cameras, uh, you know, in front of people and, and speak, which is fine. But everyone's got their own little thing to, to do. Mine just happens to be being uncomfortable, being comfortable being uncomfortable on cameras. And it, like, <laughs> which is, have you, have, you ever, have you ever like, someone has recognized you yeah, they've been a bit awkward by accident, and then you've gone and well, the best the best thing is about <laughs> everything. Okay, all this because it was all very strange being recognised, even sitting here doing this yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. The best thing is if I get uncomfortable, it's like what's well, my shtick? Like yeah. people will get more uncomfortable me being like out there and a little bit more charismatic than they'd much rather see me be uncomfortable. So if I get uncomfortable, I'm so comfortable with it. <laughs> It's, it's 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 a wonderful place. So when it comes to doing selfies and stuff, it's very uncomfortable and very weird. But literally, I'll, I'll say, look, it's really nice to meet you. Okay, I'm really nice. Very happy to meet you. But in this picture, I'm going to look very uncomfortable. It's got to be awkward. And then I get just pull an uncomfortable face within it, and uh, it <laughs> just brilliant. it just works as well. It's a little bit something different as well. So. Does um does your family think it's weird or crazy? Like, does your wife does your wife support it? I don't think my wife knew what she was getting into, to be fair, when she really? when we got married and stuff. Um, when did you get married? I got married. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, 2014, <laughs> April 24th. I'm sorry. I'm April sorry. 24th is coming up. Where are we? No, it's gone past, isn't it? Is it good? Have I no, missed my 19th, anniversary? 19th, 19th of April. It's the 19th of okay, April. Okay, so it's coming up. It's coming up. Right, it's, coming up. So. it's mad, isn't it? Don't you? Do you? Okay. All right, go on, answer that question. I got excited for another question. Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, yeah, I don't think she knew. I mean, first, it's been many chapters when I've met my wife. I've gone off and I've been a DJ. So I DJed before my, I met my wife. When I left school, um, I, went, I went to a pub one time, underage drinking and all stuff like that. But because I looked older um, and I had a friend working at the bar and the DJ didn't turn up and he was just like, can you just play a few CDs? And I was like, yeah, played a few CDs. And I was like, well, oh, that was fun. And the guy asked me to come back. And then <clears> I, I did it for like two months. And I was like, I'm a DJ. I'm a DJ now. And then. <laughs> uh, <Ibiza. laughs> yeah, well, this is it. I, at 15, I uh, went and got a job. I worked at Subway. And I was like, I'll start college to become an actor at college uh, when I'm 16. So I was like applying. I mean, back then you didn't have social media or nothing mm. like that. You had like forums and stuff, chat rooms put a few messages out didn't know where i was going i got a phone call in subway uh two weeks into subway i got a phone call on my lunch break basically say hello it's janice uh do you fancy uh play party music at uh sadari oh, yeah sure why not so at 15 i went to sadari corfu with a friend and she did like a whole season out there shut up and that was that's where i became a man i was gonna say yeah Raw. but i was you know i was older for my age as well it wasn't like i was uh you looked you got strong you got you got strong features in it so i'm assuming when you were younger you looked a bit more like a yeah 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 bit, bit, big uh guy just got awkward with a compliment there isn't it well no so, it yeah. does yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh no compliments yeah yeah big features is big, uh big. it's a very nice way of putting it i like it do you know what i mean but like you know sometimes you get yeah yeah people with like it's not even like a big man or a small man it's just like Strong features. The, the way the way someone describes me the best was heavy set, and I was like, I, oh yeah, <laughs> but I don't feel like a big guy. Like loads of people, are like right, big man. 
And all like they call me big guy, and I'm like. Oh, I must be big. <laughs> I must be, you know, bigger maybe, than... Maybe your energy's big, bro. Your energy's big. Well, that's, again, well, I mean, the compliments. This is... Uh... I knew, like, when you were in the room, I knew you were in the room, you know? I didn't even see you. I just felt I just felt you. <laughs> when I was in the toilet taking a shit, bruv, I didn't hear anything. I felt like there was energy here, innit? No, no. no. And then you got trapped in the toilet as well. Yeah, you? I did this get is, trapped. Uh... It was a bit difficult getting out, you know? It's always... <laughs> got so many good and that's it now that's it for the rest that's of the it. show I'm sitting like this done <laughs> done <laughs> that's it that's how I know you're a creator as well you've got that mindset you've got that that you Just know you've got the content yeah yeah but yeah. you know what it, it takes a minute to uh, find your feet oh no it does yeah right? yeah yeah and do you feel like do you feel like when you do that right do you feel like social media brings out more of you or a false version of you because social media this can have good. that opposite effects right this is a good question i think it's very like social media at the beginning it's kind of led everyone down this path towards being an absolute bullshitter yeah. like to be something they're not and i think uh and i don't know whether it's because i've been creating a little bit uh for a while now but it's so i think everyone in general is so easy now to spot bullshit like you can, you can see it in the soul of somebody's eyes of whether they're bullshitting and stuff like that so i think anyone now as long as you're authentic i love the fact that mine is like you can see it all over you're real you're wearing black (laughs) um uh, so like i think just being if you're authentic and you're real this is difficult for me because i'm a character Mm. so i do get that um but if you're just genuine and trying to not trying to be something you're not then you kind of stand out now which is really weird so as much as um yeah the creative the the character work and stuff like that i see it as there is a lot of part of part of me that is that character uh, uncomfortable uh, I was told when I was younger I was incredibly shy I wouldn't speak to people and I think where I got told I was shy for so long I've gone like fuck this I've got to go the other way mm. and work so hard to to not be shy um, <clears throat> but yeah I think uh, it's starting now that the real people stand out oh. I think anyway you know what you know when you said like you can see it in someone's eyes yeah, it's bullshit or not yeah. do you realise though most people don't see that. Do they not? Nah. Really? Nah. See, I thought that would be ve- very obvious <clears throat> now. I think. Or is it just because what being a creator that you think that I spot that? No, I just think you're smart. <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> no, some make some people stupid. No, I'm no, sorry. No, some no. Pe- no, I'm, and I'm being honest. I don't. I don't care what anyone says about this. I feel like, okay, what you do, right? A lot of detail, small detail, very small yeah, detail. Yeah. So you focus on other people's small detail, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can potentially tell a lot, probably by the way someone's sitting, what they're like, if they're anxious, if they're confident, if they're insecure, yeah, if they're yeah, arrogant. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, you know when someone just yeah, walks yeah, in, you're you like, can you can pick it up, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. I don't like that person. You just yeah, instantly yeah, yeah, know, yeah, right, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But I, I've, I genuinely think a lot of people don't pay attention, which is, I think, a part of the problem with social media. So yeah, like, yeah. people go, oh, that person is legit. And I'm like, I've met that person. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're as fake as they come. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like oh, some, wow, okay. you sit on a table sometimes, and like, someone could be bullshitting, and you just know someone's yeah, bullshitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one person goes, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, like inspired by it. Yeah. He didn't actually say anything, or she didn't actually say anything. There was just yeah. a lot of buzzwords. Yeah, you yeah. know. But I'd like you to gotta hope- have that skill as well, though. You you must be able to spot, especially what you do. Um, is you you you're very good at seeing all the bullshit that's out there and getting past it and then not calling people out but at least like you know being authentic and you're very raw about it as well and it's that's that's that's, and that's why you stood out and that's the quality thing about you so i I appreciate that i appreciate that so So, you've got that skill set as well it's not put me on a pedestal no 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 no. so this is about you bro it's not about me this is about you it's about us it's about us like there you go (laughs) <laughs> um what um so you said so were you following me before or no yeah no i follow i followed you i followed uh james uh paul paul Olema. yeah i uh, i 
purchased your Neat Up 24-7 face mask. And in fact, shut up. No, I couldn't find it. I tried to find it yesterday. I thought that would be nice. But, but yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But that your... was because I gave them out for free, bro. No, fourteen ninety nine. Don't try and pull the wall. I've got that skill set. I can see it. No, fourteen ninety nine. Was it? Well, unless it was a hefty delivery charge. Four nine nine. Was it? No, no, no. no it must no. have been a delivery charge. I, I, it didn't bother me in the slightest. Yeah, I, I agree with what because <laughs> of you, Darren. I can't go up escalators. I have to walk up the stairs. <laughs> yes, legit, guy. legit. Like, I've got this really big problem now. If I see it, I'm like, nope, not <laughs> at all. Stubborn. Amazing. And just walk. And that is like, that is a tip of the, that is such a, a small, that you may think is small, but such a life changing thing for so many. How many pounds do you think I've, <clears throat> I've kept off? Just about. Just because of, because of listening to that. Yeah, it's neat up 24 7. And I'll say this to everyone as well. I um, sent a message, well, like, me and Darren, this is very fresh, isn't it? This yeah. is, we're just starting this relationship now. <laughs> um, but I messaged him saying, look, I'm for, 45 minutes out. And then he messaged, he sent me a voice note back. You're one of those guys. You're a yeah, voice note. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, that's the one thing I'm very uncomfortable <laughs> with, is people sending me voice notes. I don't get it. I can't. <laughs> I can't send them back, so don't expect that from me. But when uh, he sent a voice note, I say, hey, bruv, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I won't turn and do your impression. No, do it. Go uh, for no, it. Go for it, No, no, no. I'm not an impression. But uh, I'm walking in from the city, and I was just like, he's getting those steps in. I love that. <laughs> and I was like, my guy, this is this is, this is is good. <laughs> he's legit. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's legit. Yeah. He's legit. Oh, so that's, that's good. That's so funny. credit to Deeran for that. That's no, no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> with the voice notes, though. Thank oh, God. I'm so uncomfortable with them. <laughs> so I love listening to them. I love getting sent them. Um, but you but, can't send oh, them out? No, no, not really? at all. No, I'll crumble at the first take. Shut and up. And then like. I don't know how you can, whether you, like, sometimes when I send them, if if I send them, they'll send straight away. I'm like, shit, I, like, I definitely didn't, I didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, and sometimes you send them and it'll give you a choice whether you want to delete it and stuff. So it's, it's a minefield. I just choose not to. You know what, though? I don't send really long ones. Okay, so okay. You, you do... Uh, uh, Short, sharp. Yeah, but, like, I'll open my phone, I'll have, like, nine voice notes. No, no, no. It'll be, like, I'll, I'll get whatever well, it, it is. Just... I don't, like... I don't sugarcoat anything. Okay. So like if I'm calling someone, like someone random or someone of my friends, like, hey, I don't start with, hey, how are you? I'm like, hey, I need that thing, bruv. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. Sort that out for me. Straight I've got to the you. Point. Yeah, straight no, to the it's point. Good. Don't waste time. And like, but I do get what you mean with the voice note people. Yeah, yeah. When you like, someone sends you, like, someone sends a voice note that's over like a minute and a yeah, half. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm like, Big man, what what single or album are you sending yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why are you doing this to me? But thank God for WhatsApp with the 1.5 speed and yeah, 2.0. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's no, a that's good. That is that is a life. I enjoy thing. them. So I'm I'm pro <clears throat> voice notes, but I'm certainly not comfortable enough. Amazing, amazing. So have you you got you got a book? I uh, yeah, God, yeah, I have I have got a book. Um yeah, that's a, a nice segue for me to plug it. Again, another thing I'm for uncomfortable it. for it. Why? But, um because I don't like trying to sell stuff, which is probably why um we'll move into this will probably be a, come up at some point. Um, but I don't really earn a lot of money doing what I'm doing. And I'm very comfortable with that. That's, doing uh, what you're doing as in on social, social media with your work? Uh, no, work. I'm very wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> work, what, no, I, I support you, a family. What do you, what do, you do for work? Uh, which which <laughs> one's the... I'm a uh, business intelligence manager. Shut up. Really? Yeah. Well, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing to be impressed wow. about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm a geek. I do IT. So when, when I was in school, I did IT. And then I did drama. Um, and then I got an A in both. Uh, everything else went to shit. <laughs> and then, um, so I enjoy being a geek. Um, and I enjoy, which is, is why your, I think- Is it I'm, your business or are you doing it No, with... no, I work, I work for the man. I work okay. for the man. Um, but I think that's why I enjoy doing the editing and stuff like that so much. is because that geekiness and like learning how to video edit and okay. stuff like that. So I think that's kind of worked into my skill set. I can kind of utilize both. Question. Mm. Who are you managing? Who are you helping with businesses? If you don't mind me asking, like what sort uh, of law business? firms, law firms. So I do law firms. <clears throat> uh, they have a load of data. This is getting really difficult. But, but I want to know, no, bro. I know, okay. Because it's interesting, like the awkward guy doing business data for law firms. Like who the <laughs> fuck knew that, bro? I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah, so a load of the, uh, they've got a load of data and they can't make sense out of it. So I put it within dashboards so they can look at it and go, right, <clears throat> this is how much money we made. This is how much we got to get and stuff like that. So that's my. Nine to five. That's where I've kind of led yourself. Question. So why don't you do that for yourself? 
Uh, what or you mean? You? Oh no, I I'm very analytical with my shit. Yeah, with all stats and stuff like that. But, but like um, not with socials. I'm not talking about. All right, videos, okay. But like, yeah. surely you could create revenue enough revenue. I, I look. I'm. I think there's a comfort <clears throat> that comes with the nine to five. I've got a family with three kids, so I can't be like. I think if I didn't have that, I would have gone balls deep in social media. I think yeah. I would have gone for that. I'm still trying to go balls deep in social media, but I, there's always that. You know, I work nine to five and, I, you know, I'm lucky I can do a lot of the content I do. It doesn't take, you know, it takes half an hour, an hour Can I be day. your social media business manager? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, feel free. Yeah. If you can, if you can uh, swindle this to somehow get me some money and pay, that'd be nice. So don't get me wrong. I've, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've earned some money, but certainly like when I thought about people that are sitting on a million followers on TikTok, when I hit it, I was like, there's a guy at the door with a check he's coming and i can't wait to open the door i'm i'm excited for it and he didn't come <laughs> and then like six million after he's still not there um maybe at 10 no 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 so now it's like i like to be very um uh upfront and honest about it because so the perception of it is that you know as soon as you've got followers you've got you've you make got money you make money and i've made some some money from tiktok tiktok creative fund when i was at the highest heights last last year you get a fair amount of money. Um, but for me, again, this is because I'm a dad and because I've got three kids. That money isn't even real to me. It's in a pot. I've got like, I've got to declare that somehow and do all mm. sorts of shit like that. So it's there. <clears throat> so as much as I've earned money, I haven't really reaped the benefits out of anything really. Got you. From got it. You. But you've got a book. Oh, yeah. That was the original question, wasn't it? But you've got, so you're so bad at plugging, but I'm doing it for no, you. No, I know. Yeah, I've got a book. All right. So once I did all this self-development stuff, <clears throat> once I learned all this stuff, I read so many books that I had so much knowledge in my head. And when I first, you know, I said I wanted to be a creator for two years. And and, and first of all, I started putting out um, videos about how to, about the mindset stuff and self-development and stuff. Um, but the thing is, you know, everyone, everyone's doing that. Everyone. And I wasn't standing out and I was just doing it. Um, but it didn't really matter to me. It's about standing out. But you, you were, I was spewing so much stuff. That I just felt like no one's really listening. Like no one really cares. Um, and I was like, I don't want to be that guy who's like trying to tell people how to live their life and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not like that at all. So I was like, I've got all this information. I'm just going to consolidate into a book. You know, it'd be a nice thing to get off the bucket list to say you've written a book. So I wrote a book. It took me like six months. Have you written a book? No. Nah. It's fucking. It's grief. It's, it's, Is it? Yeah. It's I've been offered. Fun. I've been offered. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I just don't think it's the right thing for me. But anyway, no? I want to keep hearing this. Well, yeah, yeah. Stop I'm trying to make it about me, bro. I'm just saying if you write a book. It's so, about you. It's about you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Darren should write a book. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I wrote this book, released it, self-published, you know, nothing fancy. This is before any sort of following and stuff like this. Oh, self-published? Yeah, this is all to Amazon. This is literally, I typed it up in Microsoft Word. On Amazon one day, had a book. Anyone can anyone can release a book. And it's on Amazon and stuff like that. And I didn't think anything off it when I wrote it. It was more off uh, get everything that's in my head out. And then at some point I can go to my my kids, here you go, there's a copy. I'm I'm off. <laughs> I'm I'm off to, you know, travel the world and stuff like that. There's life. You do you. Um and then, you know, people read it. Uh, some of my friends read it and stuff like that, starting off with the friends and family, of course, reading it because it was self-published. Yeah. And then as it's kind of gone on and, and as my following has grown, more and more people have read it. And I'm I'm very, very proud of it, as much as I don't want to flog it, but I'm very, very proud of it. Um, and then a year after I'd written it, I did an audio book uh, version of it. And I, if anybody is uh, interested at all about reading my book, it is, I see it as like the blue, blueprint of where I've gotten to now. Without the stuff that's in the book, um, I wouldn't be where I am now with the following. So it's about discipline, um, <clears throat> believing in yourself, removing limitations and all stuff like that. And I wrote that before TikTok and, and, and where I'm at now. Um, so I see it as like the blueprint. Um, and then, yeah, if anybody does want it, I would recommend the audio book version because I'm not a, I'm not Shakespeare. I'm not a, I'm not a, I've got a C in English and stuff like that. C is not bad, but C why do you a, do that, bruv? What? Why do you like br try to bring yourself down? This, uh, Darren, this is me. This is me. But Essex lads are more loud, isn't it? I uh, no, I'm not. I'm not originally Essex. I'm not originally Essex. Where originally I'm Kent. From? So th this is explains Where in it Kent? all. Uh, near Dartford. Okay. Near Blue Water. My dad had an off license in Seven Oaks once. Seven Oaks. I yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, I, I, do you do you do that because? I don't know why I do it. 
is that, is that like, does it, does it, is, it's like a therapy session. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> turn this, uh, yeah. Turning this into the diary of the CEO. Yeah, exactly. I need yeah, a fucking yeah. tear. I'm saving Dude, the tears. Drop a tear. <laughs> the awkward tear guy. That's yeah, what I'm going to yeah. turn you into. Please stop. <laughs> what, um, do you like, is there something that you're like, does I don't it still know. feel like surreal? Like all this like, it's, it feels surreal, but you know, you slowly get more and more, more comfortable with it and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's, yeah, it's uncomfortable in the sense of like sitting here is very surreal and very weird when I used to listen to it, but actually like sitting here, this is very casual and just normal and just, yeah, yeah this yeah. is, but the main thing is all this stuff where it's a little bit surreal, that's like, that's living, that's going out and, uh, and fighting to get to those points where you're in these uncomfortable situations. Yeah. It's what I always strive to do is go in the most uncomfortable scenario I can get into. And then you do it and then you realize afterwards, well, oh, that actually wasn't that uncomfortable. And then you chase the next thing that's even more uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of, that's how I've kind of so grown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As a person. And what would you say, like say from your book, some of the things that has made the biggest difference for you. So like you said, obviously being consistent and stuff and that. Yeah. Could you give me like an example of that blueprint? Yeah. So the main thing uh, that I think is uh, alive and dead time. And uh, this isn't anything fit, uh, philosophical or anything else like this. This is just m my mind and how I do it. So it might be, it might be though. Well, maybe th this is, <laughs> this is going to be quoted for years to come. Maybe. <laughs> so it's definitely not. Um, so what I, the way I see it is you have alive and dead time. So you spend, so if, say for instance, you work nine to five, you come home, you've got like that five hours or something like that. So out of those five hours, you can either choose to have more dead time. So dead time I associate as to having Netflix, like just literally vegetating, doing nothing. And then you'll have like a lifetime. So my lifetime is doing content. So mm -hmm. I'll do like an hour and that's me being alive or I'll go out for a walk or I'll go to the <clears> gym <throat> or stuff like that. It's stuff to improve yourself. And the way I, I try to gauge it is, and what I try to say to people is if you, if you up your alive time, if you up the time that you're not doing Netflix, so you're up the time that you're not just wasting your time doing something. Some people play computer games and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with it. But if you're doing it for three, four hours every single day, you, you're going to feel a bit like you might get joy out of it, but you'll find a place where you're just, you feel a bit unfulfilled. Yeah. If you improve and up your alive time, an hour, two hours, something like that, spend a bit of time doing something, a growth, going out for a walk or anything, listening to an audio book, mm -hmm. it's a lifetime. Uh, once you <clears throat> up your alive time, you feel more alive. What was the book called? Uh, Be a Shark. Be a Shark. Be a Shark. So the reason behind Be a Shark is when I stepped into this be, uh, this uh, self-development world, you're like, you go into it and you've got like, different categories you've got categories of like hustle like your andrew tate watches cars just like never sleep work 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 <laughs> then you've got people who are yeah you know the hippie ones who are like crystals and like spirit numbers and meditation and then you've got um then you've got the uh the pmas the positive positive mental attitude nothing can go wrong and everything's everything's so happy and fluffy and and wonderful and, it, and like they'll break their arm and they'll be like it's okay there'll be a purpose for it and stuff like that so I think, uh, and what, the way I see self-development is out of all of those spaces, you take a little bit from each. So the, the hustle is the consistency and stuff like that. Uh, meditation works for a lot of people. I'm not into it as much, but I'm very much into not so much the secret. Have you read the secret? You've read the secret. I've it's very, it. I've watched, you've watched it. this strange watch. I watched it when I was a kid. Did you? Oh, that's... Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. But I've always been like a bit of a like, I've, I've always visualized yeah, weird yeah. shit, stuff I wanted and stuff. It's oh. very out there. It is. It yeah. is, but I could, I kind of saw past it a little bit in <clears throat> regards to, well, you're not asking the universe, you're just kind of steering yourself. You're removing limitation that you'll have. You're not, the universe doesn't do it for you and stuff like that. It's just having something to believe in and stuff. And a positive mental attitude, it's important to have a positive mental attitude, but shit does go wrong. It's being aware that, you know, when you do feel that stuff is bad, that you work on getting back into things that's a little bit more positive. So, and the reason why I called it Be A Shark, longest answer ever, is, uh, yeah, you see loads of posts on social media of like a lion and then like a quote or like a shark and like a shark's like up and they're eating people yeah, at yeah. 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah. So I always saw it as a kind of piss take and a little nod to say, I'm not really taking this that seriously. I'm like, Be A Shark.
It sounds motivational, though, well, doesn't no, it? It's a cool name. It, it, it sounds good. It's you instantly think, cool wow, name. be a shark. Yeah. So it's got that kind of oomph about it. But really, it's, uh, I'm not, I don't have any you know, anticipation of anyone being a, a shark or anything else like that. It's just um, work on yourself. Remove uh, doubts, remove limitations, and believe in yourself a little bit more. And the main thing is, instead of being your own biggest critic, Mm. Um, be learn how to be your own biggest fan, and if you can do that, then uh, and that's what the, the main thing that I try to do, and not in an egotistical sense, as you know, just from our brief confrontation, a confrontation, yeah. conversation um, that I'm very self de- yeah. de- de- deprecating. So that last okay. comment you made, um, yes, uh, you just said, "Be your biggest fan." Yeah, are you like that? Uh, I know my strengths. And I celebrate my strengths and also know my weaknesses. Um, and I don't really pay any attention to them. You didn't answer the question, bro. Well, I, do I, are you, am your, I my are biggest, you your fan? biggest fan? Yeah, yeah. I think I've got stuff to offer. I like what it's I... It's a yes I like. or no, bro. Uh, yes. Your, yeah, yes. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you're trying to be humble and I know what you know, but, like... A martyr is what you, my... my People would say a martyr. Is that what they say? Yeah, like someone who. What does that um, mean? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, so a martyr's like they'll throw themselves on top of the grenade to try to to to. I don't know actually. Yeah, bit of Captain America in that. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit humble, isn't it? I don't. Yeah. You're just comparing yourself to Captain America. Well, you did that. No, you no, did no, that. No, 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 I didn't do that. No, I, just, I, I threw it out there. You took it, bro. I'm more of an ant man. I think just to kind of. <laughs> There's some good qualities there, but really. <laughs> <laughs> but a normal guy. Yes. Yeah, I'm not, of me too. I'm just like a Thor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. A Turkish Thor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? Um, I think your approach on all that stuff is actually so relatable, man. Like, because you're very relatable. And I think, like, I know you're the awkward guy on socials. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I think you could really talk about that stuff in a very casual way because the problem is, I think now, is that everyone's telling everyone what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's almost like my approach now on like doing fitness stuff, I'm doing my best to, this is what I've done and this is what worked. Yeah, yeah. That's or it. like this is what I did with my client and this is what worked. I think it's more relatable. Definitely, yeah. And it seems more real. And like, you've got a lot of people that follow you, man. It's mi- millions. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's... And you've got, like, so much potential to help out millions. So I hope people read that book. Yeah, no, definitely, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> there's uh, there's some good in it. There's some good in it. Because I'm sold on it. If I'm being honest, most people that preach to me about stuff like that, yeah, I don't believe they're genuine. And yeah. I don't, and I don't want to oh, read it. there's no, there's nothing. I think I even say in the book, like, I'm not a writer. I'm not anything. Literally, I wrote a list of what I've achieved so far, and you look at it, it's like, what's the most bog standard, like, shitty list of yeah. anything? There's nothing that impressive. But to me, very proud of it. Like, everyone's got their own things they've achieved. Um, so I, there's nothing in, I have no way, uh, like, self-development coach mm. and stuff like that. And there's so many people out there trying to, who have literally no qualifications. Yeah. Or they'll do, like, a video course or something yeah. like that, and they think, oh, I'm, I'm a... I'm a Question, life coach. You know, like stuff. the biggest, who would you say are like the biggest gurus? Like uh, uh, the biggest guru. So my one, and this is a shout out as well. The one I listened to was Jay Alderton. Mindset with Muscle, his podcast was the first podcast I listened to. Well, I first started going to the gym, I was like, <clears> I need to listen to something to, I don't know. And then it was Mindset with Muscle. And I was like, oh, he's a gym guy. Maybe I can learn something from him. And then not only was a gym guy, it was a whole mindset thing about him as well. So I, I kind of as well. Yeah. So mindset with muscle, Jay Alderton, that was that was the one that kind of started the journey on with me. Mm. And then from there I've, you know, I've just <clears throat> read a lot of books, audio books and podcasts and stuff. Isn't it weird like people in fitness, but they we tend to like go into that space quite yeah, naturally. Yeah. And I think it's just like because with fitness, you're like improving your body, right? Yeah. And by improving your body, your it mind comes goes with into- the mind. Yeah, definitely. I go I go to the gym. But I don't go to the gym to, you know, for so much for fitness, as you could probably tell. It's more for how I feel and the, and the benefits of it. And like, I, 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 it really blows my mind when people don't have a gym membership. I'm like, mm. just get that gym membership and just don't go, just going to the gym, actually just turning up and getting there without, even if you don't do anything, you feel so much better about yourself. Just, just for your mindset of going there. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I think it kind of 
They correlate, don't they? Yeah. Or buy into my coaching. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That's the one. That's, <laughs> that's the, one. the one. That's the one. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, and you know what? In a weird way, like, a lot of, say, like, gurus yeah. and the way their PR teams, their publishers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell it so well. Yeah. And I think sometimes the wrong people are yeah, shown yeah. as gurus. And the real people that can actually give more value in a more relatable way. Yeah, yeah. Are not winning as much. No, I agree, yeah. That sometimes frustrates me. I can imagine, yeah. I'm just yeah. like, fuck, that's a bit unfair if you think about it. Oh, like, it is, yeah. You've got to yeah. play, like, the game. There is a game. There's a huge There's a game, game stuff it? out there, yeah, yeah. Do you like playing that game? Not particularly. Uh, my, uh, I don't like influencers. Oh, same, yeah. <laughs> like, just the word influencer alone is really bad. So I've got a huge thing of, like, I never want to be known as an influencer, but I think there is so much good to go out there that I, uh, my fight and this isn't just me, is that I'm very much, I want to set the standard of what a creator, what a creator is mm. and change the, like, people doing ads and stuff like that. I, I do ads, um, but I'm very much, like, I pick and choose my ads very particularly, as in I won't do an ad just for the sake of earning a bit of money and doing it. I, I mean, to be fair, I have that luxury because I work and it's mm. not my sole income. But any ad that I do do, I want to make it, like, remember like old adverts like on TV and stuff like that. I want it to be like and actually genuinely like it fits in with my content and it's quite funny and it's good and it and it's a brand that I actually go for and stuff like that. So I want to change what it means. When when I do an ad, I want people to go, that's actually an, that's a decent advert. Do you know what I mean? Rather than, oh. And I know that like you'll see an ad and as soon as you see the word ad, you're like, you disengage, you're like. I won't lie. The only person that I like when they do ads is Paul Alima. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And that's because he's a creator and he puts the work in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And it's yeah. actually enjoyable. Yeah, no, definitely. And I feel like you would be like that as well. And I think what puts a bad name on influencers yeah. is um, the fucking idiots that are always just either showing their ass. Yeah, their tits, yeah. The guys but with like you said, there's, a, the there's an audience for it. People who are just watching it without any thought. And they just, right. uh, it works out, so. Yeah, it's mad. And that, they, I reckon they, they're they actually going to kill the whole influencing game. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, yeah. I don't think like influencer market would be a thing in the future. I don't think, I don't know. Because everything's now becoming, I know what you think, but like everything is so saturated. You yeah, think definitely. So? Yeah, yeah. Like, there, there's so much stuff out there. There's like, this is what I like about being voiceless is that I, there's no reason for anybody to, there's enough voices and stuff out there. <laughs> Like, so when I'm not, like, when now I don't speak, uh, hopefully it kind of sets me apart that little bit, but I, I don't need to speak. I've got, you know, everyone else mm. is doing the talking, so I... Yeah. It's a bit shit, actually. But, I mean, I think, like like you said with uh, with Paul and, and yourself, so I've seen, like, the skits you guys do when you get together and stuff like that. And you know what's so good about them? And this is what I try to, what, why I think there's some success in what I do. So I love what I do. I love the fun. I, I just try to entertain myself in all the videos. Yeah. And like when you see the videos of like you and Paul, and I don't know why Paul's always the dominant one. You always seem to be the the submissive one. It's because in real life, I'm the dominant <laughs> one. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but you can tell you enjoy doing that. You can like you can see, like I said about the soul behind. See, you can genuinely tell that you two. Just love oh, we've doing that. We've got a good that. chemistry. We've got yeah, a good yeah, connection. exactly. And if I'm being, if if Paul was a prick, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't play that role. No, with of him. course not. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. But like, we on it. Like, I'll be honest. I, I lose followers when I do those videos. Really? Yeah. I lose followers when I do those. I don't like. That's strange. Yeah, I don't because my like my audience is. That, that fitness education. Once they know you for something, I suppose. Yeah, they, yeah. It's really yeah, difficult yeah, yeah. to try to change people's yeah, minds, yeah. I think. Because uh, Alima's page is pure entertainment. Yeah, Which yeah. is great. My one is a weird, like, entertainment through fitness. Yeah, no, but I think. Uh, sometimes people get very offended with what we do. because Really? Oh, yeah, because a lot of the shit that we're taking a piss out is we get reported a lot. Wow. I get reported a lot. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, a lot. Well, that's frustrating, though. I, I, it's the I, game though it is that's game. part I of it really care. Yeah, I think yeah. it's fun there I are people it. out there just out to get you regardless yeah. isn't there I'm so. just like when everyone gets offended I'm just like bro you're offended because I'm giving you the truth like yeah yeah or definitely. they're really insecure about something or whatnot. Yeah, but like 
Whatever. It's just about having this fun. This is the good thing about, about not having a voice again, is I don't really get a lot of negativity. I was going to say, I don't say, get a lot yeah. of pain. It's like, imagine like Mr. Blobby, right? <laughs> you don't go, if Mr. Blobby started doing like stories and telling you about what he had for breakfast and stuff, you're like, fuck, fuck Mr. Blobby. But because <laughs> yeah. he doesn't speak, you're like... <laughs> You can't hate him. <laughs> it's like you can't. Mr. Blobby. Have you had any hate before? Oh, the main hate I get is for the man bun. It's genuinely, that's the sure. main one I get. And they're normally like intense, like pro-gun Americans who are, and you look at their profile and they're bald in or they'll wear a hat. <laughs> and like, so you, I get it. Like I do, I always try to emphasize with the follower who's mm. trying to, you know, anything. But I love it because I see it and it's the same thing over and over again. I laugh, block, and then move on. Do you, um, is a lot of your audience, where are they from usually? Um, Do you know, um, have you looked at all of that? Yeah, yeah. My, my third biggest following is Brazil. What? Like this, this, Must be the man bun. And th <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, but I think uh, the main thing is, because I'm voiceless as well, definitely with TikTok, um, they push, because, um, you know, there's nothing really on my videos, unless someone speaks English or there's a character speaking in it, there's nothing... English about it. it, so they can push them out oh, to a lot of every places. Market, I just realised. Yeah, yeah. What? So that was the blueprint, and I, that was a kind of accident when it happened. It wasn't like I don't know, know what to do. I need to do this, and I remember watching you know, Mr. Beast's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a video. Uh, he was on a podcast, and he basically said every YouTube video he does, he now gets like the the, the top um, voiceover person for like Germany. And to talk over his videos. So then he goes out to all these different markets, more markets than, so he's like 15% of the market was his videos before, and now he's like everywhere. So that kind that of makes- on, That was on Rogan. Was it Rogan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that kind of makes sense to me. That, that, that when I stop and look back about why the, the growth is so big, I think, well, if I was speaking English, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't be there. He's, he's definitely a creative. Oh, yeah, he's fantastic. I don't know, yeah, if you know much about him, but like, like the way he lives and the way he looks, you just know he's making a ton of money. Yeah, but he really invests it, doesn't he? He's constantly, it's all about the creations yeah. and stuff like that, which, which I, I love enjoys. that. Yeah, you know, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun. It's, what he does is good. Do you ever, like, do you ever think what could happen if you just purely pushed, like, the book? Uh, the uh, Yeah, I'm not too worried about the book. My My intentions are to, I want to make the most out of this opportunity. So I am kind of, pushing myself a little bit more uh i could very easily just do my my tiktoks my my videos be very happy about that mm. but what i'm very aware of is that at some point down the line will i ever look back and go i had like this little influx of people who kind of know who i am but eventually naturally people aren't going to give a shit at some point like i will you know it'll go up and eventually it'll go down that's just the way of things um so i'm like i want to make the most out of anything i've kind of gained and it's more, I have a lot of things for my followers is that I want to do it for them as well. I don't want to just be, I, I love the idea of taking a character and just putting him in a larger scenario, putting him mm. on adverts, putting him on TV. And I love the idea. The main thing I keep going on about is cameos. So mm. any awkward thing anywhere on movies or whatever, like shit Stan Lee, just any movie, any TV show, anything that happens that's awkward, two, three seconds, my face and that, and that's it, gone, finished. But just appearing everywhere like a fucking Easter egg. Yeah. And then, like, I just <laughs> okay. love the idea of just doing that. Um, so I want to try to push things and go uh, test myself and get uncomfortable, do different things uh, and see see where it goes. If it means being voiceless, I'm more than happy. I, I have no problem at all being voiceless. It's fantastic. Are you scared that if you start putting your voice out on TikTok and socials, you may lose complete? Yeah, no. So I don't, I'm very uh, particular about putting my voice out. I don't, you know, make it readily available. Uh, anyone can find my voice anyway. Like I, I've got, I had a podcast back in the day that I, it was my own podcast. So if you look me up on Spotify. I, but you don't plug it. I don't know. I don't plug it. No, yeah, no, no. There's so, no but, reason to. But people, no. it's weird because. You need to make things accessible for people, right? So yeah, it's easy. Yeah. So people might not. If people really I'm plug the shit out of this, bro. No, uh, <laughs> we've got we've got the awkward. Uh, oh, we've got the awkward videos that. for that. I can't wait. No, that'll be good. Um, so yeah, I think like if people really wanted to, it's there. But I'm not gonna like. I won't post it on my stories. I won't okay. post it on my socials. I'll, obviously, the videos and stuff like that. But I'm very. I get it. There's. I don't want to ruin the mystique for people. I think that having that mystique is very important. 
Very important. And the way I think of it, you think of Mr. Bean. Mm. If Mr. Bean did stories every day, you'd be like, oh, fuck, he's killed it. Like, Mr. Yeah. Bean's better when he doesn't speak. I'm not saying I'm Mr. Bean, but certainly that the, the, the people associate me with that character. And I'm very happy for them to do that. Like, I'd much rather that than get to know the real me. Okay, what about, would you push for acting gigs? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have you been offered? Um, I've been offered. Surely uh, they need a fucking awkward guy somewhere. Well, this is the thing. I, Surely there is that restriction of just being the awkward guy, and I'm very happy to fulfil that. But certainly, I went to become an actor. Like I said, I went DJ yeah, to yeah, Solari, yeah. became a man, came back, and I went to college to become an actor. Yeah. And then I got there, and it, they were like trying to change my voice to make me sound more posh and speak like this, really? and make me listen to Radio Four. Shut and I was up. like, I don't want to do it. I just want to just do character work and entertain and do stuff. So I, I very quickly left that and then... What? They made you do that? Well, they suggested, suggested, they suggested it. it. And there's so many divas out there. There's so mm. many. And you're like, there's a, there's a world of that in socials as well. But I'm very much a... I keep myself in my own little bubble. I'm only now kind of creeping out and seeing what's going on and stuff like that. Okay, okay. And does that make you nervous? Uh, no, 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 not nervous, but I do, I'm very happy in my own little space. Put it this way, if TikTok just paid what they, what, what they should pay, mm. um, then I'll be happy with that. I don't want any money from anyone, uh, gifts, subscriptions, <clears throat> stuff like that. I don't want any of it. I'm like, really? there's a cost of living crisis. You do you. Like, I will do this because I enjoy doing it. If I lost all my follow, I'd still, yeah, I'd still what, be doing it every single what, day. But you got a book that is given value. Yeah, yeah, so by the that, book. But that means, but that, <laughs> but, that the book. But, but that means you're giving value. So yeah. you could have something that gives value. Yeah, that helps people in a crisis. Yes, but I don't think you need to pay for that. I I feel like I, the the videos that I do, it's everything on social media. So much of it, anyway, it's really toxic. Like really, like everything's like the world's going to shit. Everything's burning. You know, like yeah. diff different genders and all sorts of stuff and all, <laughs> everything. Guns, the lot. So I'm like, Andrew Tate. I just yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to. I just want it to be pure. Like I want somebody to watch my videos. I and some people may think that my videos may be malicious, as if I'm going after creators or I'm mm. I'm trying to dig people out. It's, I couldn't. There's nothing like that at all. I literally I watch a video. And I'm like, that would. There's a Fine. scene there. There's a story. Let me tell a story. They're a character in the story. I'm not going fuck them. I'm going mm. after them to get some viral hits. I'm like, there's a story to be told there that I think could be quite entertaining. <laughs> do a video, post it, and what I try to do, and I think, like I said, going back, when you enjoy what you're doing, I think that translates to the people at the other end of the phone. I think mm. you actually, when people, like I said, the soulless people who just do the ads and they're trying to flog you stuff, you, yeah. you very quickly go, oh, fuck yeah. And, put, and like move on and you lose kind of that. Whereas I just want it to be, I want people to watch the video, come away from it after 15 seconds, just having a shit, <laughs> watching a video, having a snigger and then moving on. That's all okay. I want. Question, what if that person loves watching you, likes you, likes yeah. your energy, sees that you're genuine and wants that person to help them? Yeah. And they want to pay you for that. By the right. book. <laughs> okay. but it's all in the book no i mean i'm very happy to share this is what I, I i like the uh i love doing i like the idea of doing podcasts to share if people want to listen to it they can share my journey and what i've learned i'm very i want to be very transparent about everything that i've learned and what i'm going through and stuff like that kind of documenting it along the way the main thing for me is i want to do that because i just want my kids to be able to look at see what i've done and how i've done it mm. and the way i've gone about things and learn from that so that's like the core thing. But if other people can do learn from as well, okay. Um, the same way you're sharing your fitness show, you're not telling people what to do. You're saying what works for you, mm. and then people. I think there's a lot of times I do tell people what to do. I just got to get better. At it, I what was uh, the, the video the other day? Um, <laughs> what was it? Are you fat? Uh, fat? You, uh, <laughs> fat? Said... Sad and unhappy. <laughs> and I literally, I was watching my phone. You fat, sad, and unhappy. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell he's gone right to my soul right for the jugular yeah, but it was so good I was like yes <laughs> it's weird One I'm not fat sad and unhappy <laughs> there's, there's some timber but it's, I'm, no, I'm certainly comfortable with it there's um, it's it's weird isn't it some of that language can sometimes like trigger people and I get messages going yeah. this video could be very triggering but they're probably the people who need it the most they're probably fat sad and unhappy aren't they <laughs> Legit. It's always the ones that give you the hate the most are the ones like me. I've got I've, I've got a man bun. So the people that come after me are the ones that don't have 
you know, they're losing their hair or they yeah. wear hats. And like, there's something. No, you're, <laughs> I know, you're a hairy dude. Right? Yeah, this I is am a, hairy. I am hairy. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I think, yeah. I want um, I want to see you outside, John. I want to see you out at nine to five. Oh, it'd be, people would be so disappointed. Out, you want to see me out my nine to five, as yeah. in not working. As in like, there's <clears> so much like, I, I, I'm like, I don't try and force people to like do stuff. But no, like, no, no. When I like see like, when I feel potential, like good people. Yeah, that I yeah, think yeah. that people need to see more of. Obviously a lot of people see you. Yeah, But yeah. like, even the small things that you just said about like talking about your journey, about being transparent, about yeah. being open about everything, as well as the stuff that you did to got you to where yeah. you are today, which again, I know this whole influencer, not influencer. Yeah, yeah. This whole Creator. 7 million followers thing, people like, oh yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah. it's crazy. Like, oh, it is, yeah. 7 million people, bro. Yeah, it's nuts. If yeah, they yeah. spat on you, you would drown. I know, it's nuts. I think my, my friends in my WhatsApp group, like they, they calculated how many people got, could sell out Wembley and stuff like that. So that when you think of it like that, like how many people sit in Wembley, that's, that, that's nuts. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, you can't, I, I remember hitting my first million and I was just like, it's really excited about it. And I hit it and I was like, oh, well. No man at the door with a check. No, well, yeah, I was still waiting for him. Yeah. But um, yeah, but. That that's the main thing is uh, the main thing. The question I get is about money, so I'm, mm. that's why I'm like I'm very trans, uh, transparent about it. I earn money, like I earn good, some money um, enough. And you're happy. Um, yeah. I'm, I, it's, if it, like, if we were in it for the money, we, yeah. you know, you would you would stop a long time ago. Yeah. I'm I'm happy because I love what I do. Like yeah. I literally I'm like a pig in shit. Every time I get to do a new video or I <laughs> see something amazing, like let's do it. That's that's there's pure happiness there. Well, I hope like. I hope you get rewarded more for that. I, I hope you do. I, I hope you do. Eventually. I, I, I'm very much, uh, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I will get to where I need to go. And I'm not going to try to rush it or try to like, nice. buy it or do anything. I'm just going to enjoy it. I love the journey. I love this. I love life. Yeah. I love doing this. This is what it's about. This is, it's enjoying the little steps and stuff like that. Would you say you're a spiritual person? Uh, I don't think spiritual, but certainly I try to stay in the moment aware and and celebrating the little every little achievement that I get, um, every million, it would just be like there'll be something. Me and my wife would just do something just to celebrate that. And it's not it's not even like it's a million great. It doesn't mean it'll change anything, but it's important to celebrate the little things that you do. Any sort of like if you're going to the gym for the first time and you lose your first five pounds or something like that, you got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy what you do. Treat yourself and buy yourself a bit of gym clothing or something like that. Enjoy the little journey. Celebrating um, those small wins. Exactly. Like just, You've got just to meet another million followers. Just a small no. win, you know? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fucking, did sound like that, didn't it? Captain America, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Funny shit. No, no, that's, no that's, that's great. Do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to even say? Like, we can say. Where can people find you? Where can people find you? I'm, I'm not even going to say that. This bro. is the best thing because my name is just like, there's no other. But do people, like, do people, are they. When you see someone or someone recognize you, do they call your name or did they go um, awkward guy? <laughs> no, yeah, a lot of it. There's a lot of people that recognize me, and you'll get it as well. You 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 can spot them, but they don't really like. They they give you it, and you're like, okay, I'll be like, there's there's somebody aware of who I am here. Um, but every now and then, sometimes they won't say anything to you, and that that does frustrate me. I'd much rather somebody like say something there and then, and then you get an inbox. Uh, and then you get an inbox saying, I saw you doing this. And I'm like, oh, shit, I could have been doing anything. Like, I didn't see them do that. And it's like, I get a lot of it. Um, but like today, like I was just on the train minding my own business. I've got Niall. And he was getting off the train as I was going, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, it's nice. It's uh, Yeah, but if anybody wants to see me or find me and stuff like that, Niall McMillan, or, is this the wrap-up, my plug-in? Plug as hard as you want. Plug yeah, as hard yeah, as I yeah. want. Uh, Niall McMillan on Instagram, Niall McMillan on TikTok, Niall McMillan on Twitter, Snapchat. YouTube, there's a Twitch. I've got, uh, there's an OnlyFans. There's a, there's Sharp. a, there, yeah. Uh, there's nothing posted on it. Sharp. There's an OnlyFans. Have you got yeah, OnlyFans? Yeah. Not for me. One of my characters is called Hot Rod. And uh, it's the, the bio of it is curls and masculinity. Shut. So up. there's, you know, if you like hair, there's 
So yes. you've got an OnlyFans page? I've got an OnlyFans page. There's oh, nothing posted hold on, on it. Hold on, I need to know There's more nothing about posted hold on, on it. On, on. We're, I mean, we're not wrapping up yet. Well, I need to know more about this. <laughs> there, it's literally because... Um, you just got pictures of your man bun? No, there's nothing. There's no, there's no content on it at all. It's literally like... I think it was April Fool's. I was like, I've made an OnlyFans page. Oh, really? And then I thought OnlyFans uh, maybe offered you something to go on. No, there. no. This, this is another thing. No one offers me shit. Like, really? I'm very much... Yeah, I'm, I'm on my own. And I'm very happy with it. Like... Um, I'm very much a one man band. Have like. you done well with your book? Yeah. There's a yeah, lot of people no. reading it. A lot yeah, people... a lot of people reading it. Like, um, I get influxes when, when videos go and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, uh, the previous podcast I was on, I plugged the book and it got a good amount of sales and stuff like that. But very, a lot, lot of sales, not a lot of reviews. So if you do buy the book, I'd much rather you give you a pure, I don't care if you give me a free two, don't give me a one, get a, like two free star. Just give me your raw, like genuine feedback about i'd much rather that than buy it and then message me be like i loved your book and then but not review it it's like can you just mm. yeah i just need that, that i think you gotta ask people for more man yeah i'm not i'm not an asker yeah. i'm not an asker at all it's hard to get stuff done nowadays if you don't ask you know i know yeah i do Especially need to get in better our world at it. I, I need to get better at it but it's weird there's enough people asking so like just let, just enjoy. Cap, just America, enjoy the bro. videos. Man, moving mad. <laughs> Seven casual million followers and that. <laughs> no, I'm only, like, you know what? Thank no, you no. so much. No, thank you. Thank you for, for the coming. experience. And it's a, uh, it's really nice to meet you. And yeah, pleasure. The awkwardness was great. <laughs> what was that noise? I was trying to crack oh, you, bro. Oh dear, well done. Oh guys. Oh god. Uh, thank you so much for coming Sound on. Sound like you're felching. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. This was great. No, it's pleasure. Um guys, thank you so much for listening. Subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you enjoyed the podcast, tell everyone. If you didn't, fuck you. No, I'm joking. I'm, jo I'm joking. Much I was love. Joking. Much love. Peace and love. Take it easy. See ya. Boom. Ledge.